Hello, students. Good evening. Hi. Hello, teacher. Hi, everyone. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Well, it's very, very nice to see you once again. I am very happy that I have the opportunity to actually be in the classroom again. Tell me, how was your weekend? Weekend? Yeah, how was your weekend? What did you do? Was wonderful. I'm rest. <laughs> oh, you rest. Week. Hey, that's fantastic. Right. If you had the opportunity to rest, that's cool, right? That you had the chance to actually rest. Okay. So what else did you do on the weekend? Uh, so Roberto was mentioning that he rest. What else did you did the rest of you do? I visited my family. Uh -huh. Oh, you visited your family. That's fantastic. My grandmother. Oh, you visited your grandmother. That's very cool. Did you have the opportunity to work in the platform? Mm, really? <laughs> Aha! Chan, chan, chan. Did you have the opportunity to work in the platform? More or less. More, or, more or less. less. <laughs> Jarita, did you advance in the platform? Yes, but today. Okay, today. Good. Let me see. Mauricio, did you advance in the platform? Yes, teacher. Yes. I finished uh, with my my test. You finished. Good. Very good. What about Ana Beatriz? Mm. Did you have the opportunity to work in the platform? Yes, I finished today. Hey, that's good. Everything. Oh, nice. Haido, did you have the opportunity to work in the platform? The microphone. Um, the second uh, session. Oh, you finished the second section. Yes. Okay, let's work on the next one, right? Because we need to finish. Mr. Marlon. Did you have the opportunity to finish or to work in the platform? Mm, today, teacher. Okay, today you will do it or today you did it? Mm, today I, I, I started the platform. Okay, ah, okay, okay, we need to work on that. <laughs> Roberto, did you, oh, you told me that so, so, right? On the platform that you had the opportunity to work a little bit. Mr. Avdiel, that it's in the darkness. Hi, hello. <laughs> Did you have the opportunity to work in the platform? Yes. Um, I don't understand. Um, la, um, la, las secciones que, que había que trabajar. Okay, right now. Y, y hasta, uh -huh. Tal vez, eh, bueno, y, y creo que no tenía la calendarización bien, entonces no estaba seguro si era la 2.0, 3.0, no. Ok, the, you, are, you are supposed to finish section 3. By now you, you are supposed to have finished section 3 and the midterm exams, but we're going to cover the exams tomorrow as well. So we can go and, and, and check. Mr. Moises, did you have the okay. opportunity to work on that? Uh, good evening. Este, I am, I work in in session. Eh, bueno, la primera parte. Section one. Uh -huh. De la no, es eh, section three. Ah, okay, okay, eh, okay. First, first The first part. part. Uh -huh. Ah, okay, okay. This okay. part. Yes, because as well, for now, I mean, you should be in section three. That's good. Eh, let's see, Carlota, did you have the opportunity to work in the platform? Hello. Hello. Okay, that's good. Very good. Uh -huh. 
Todavía no lo he podido ver en una sección. Ok, Carlota, I think you have a problem in, section, in the exams. No. Sí, 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 en la, solamente en el literal C. Ok, you can uh, take a picture of it and send it to me so we can check it, ok? Envíame justo el, la foto del, del problema que tienes y lo podemos resolver juntos, ok? Ok, ahí se, ya lo voy a enviar. Ok, please. Y tengo un problema con la señal. Yes, right now because I, I can listen to you like in a, in a uh, cut, cut form. But it's okay. Don't worry. Send me the, the idea, the, 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 the thing that you need to work on and I can help you. Let's see. Gustavo Adolfo, did you have the opportunity to work in the platform? Yes, teacher. I okay. Have a little bit. Okay, you have worked a little bit. Sergio Rodrigo, have you worked in the platform? Yes, teacher, no teacher, Mr. Sergio. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Eh, realmente, pues mañana voy a ponerme al día con lo de la plataforma, pero quisiera saber más o menos por qué punto van, porque yo voy por el 1.2. Uh, we are in point uh, in section three. Just about to start section four. Okay. Okay, we need to put everything into practice. So please get into the business. And if you have any question, ask me, okay? Ahí no duden en mandarme un mensaje. Teacher, me, no me funciona este ejercicio. ¿Qué puedo hacer? And I am going to help you right away, okay? Okay. This is for everybody, okay? Si de repente se traba en un ejercicio y van a decir, no, pero no le pregunto a la teacher, me da pena. No, nothing. We are here to help you, okay? If you have difficulty with any exercise, I will be here to help you, okay? And that's, hey, for, that's for everybody, okay? So let me see, right? Remember the agreements of our classes, practice our English as much as possible, ask for help whenever you need Keep the cameras on all the time. Attend all your sessions on time. Uh, attend, uh, participate as much as possible. Keep a cooperative attitude during class. Collaborate with your friends on the WhatsApp group. So that's the group four, right? Collaborate with everybody because that's the idea of the, the group. Aha. Uh -huh. In the previous class, the day of La Selecta, what did we study that day? There are and there is. Uh -huh, there are and there is. Good. We started that for the different rooms of the house, right? Can you give me an example sentence with there is? Can you give me one example with there is in one room of the house? Give me one example. There is a laptop in my bedroom. There is a laptop in my bedroom. Good. Give me one example with there are. There are some chairs in the living room. There are some chairs in the living room. Very good. Give me one example with there isn't. There isn't coffee table in the living room. <laughs> there isn't a coffee table in the living room. Give me one example with there aren't. There are in shares. There shares. aren't any chairs in the? In the what? Give me one room. There aren't any chairs in the? In the, living. in the living room, right? There aren't mm -hmm. any chairs in the living room. So for today, we have the topic for professions and occupations, right? Professions and occupations. In some cases, the professions are the ones on which you go to the university and get a diploma and everything. So you say like, that's my profession. And an occupation is the one that you learn, right? The one that you learn because you went to a curse or something, or it's the family business, or people in your family uh, do that activity uh, as a way of living. 
and you say, okay, that's my occupation. For example, a carpenter. A carpenter is an occupation, right? A profession, we can have an engineer because that is the one that they have studied for. And here is when I want to ask you, what is your profession or what is your occupation? Can you give me some examples? I am a teacher, for example, and that's my profession. What is your profession or your occupation? My profession is engineer. I am an engineer. You say I am an engineer. Good, Roberto. Can you give me another example? What is your I... profession or your occupation? Not I am going to go one by one. Hoy han venido calladitos. No sé qué me les han hecho. ¿Quiénes son y dónde me metieron a mis estudiantes? <laughs> Mauricio, what is your profession or your occupation? Um, I am a teacher. Uh -huh. I have a degree in career with dance. With dance. Okay, you are a teacher, right? That's your profession. You are a teacher. Moises Adalberto, what is your profession or your occupation? I am... I am a study? I am a student, you say? I am student. a student, right? That's my, my occupation. Ana Beatriz, what is your profession or your occupation? My occupation is a cashier. A cashier, right? I am a, a cashier. cashier. Yolanda, what is your profession or your occupation? Um, I am a purchase assistant. I am a purchase assistant. Very good. Marlon, what is your profession or your occupation? I am an engineer. I am an engineer, right? Good. Doris, what is your profession or your occupation? Miss Doris, hello, hello. Okay, uh -huh. what is your profession or your occupation? My profession is a um, psychologist. Ah, you are a psychologist, a psychologist. Good, yes. very good, hey, what a nice thing. Jairo, what is your occupation? or your profession? It's trainer. Oh, you're a trainer, that's cool. Mr. Abdiel, what is your occupation? I'm agent technical support. I am a technical support agent, and right now an Uber. <laughs> 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 okay, you are a technical <laughs> support agent. That's pretty good. Okay, so those are careers. Those are professions and occupations. Those are the things that you do for a living, right? Either profession or either occupation is good because it helps you to make a living. So here we have some examples of this. And here I have some professions and occupations that are like the most common ones that we can mention. And you mentioned some of them. Here I have, what is the first one? Can you help me to read them? Cashier. Cashier, cashier. right. A cashier is the one that charges for things, mm -hmm. right? Like when you go to the supermarket, it's like, beep, hello, hi, how are you? Beep, beep, beep. That's a cashier, right? There are a lot of TikToks of cashiers. What about the next one? A cook or a chef? It's the same, right? If you say he is a cook or he is a chef, it's the same thing. What about the next one? Now with the COVID-19, it was a very difficult profession. What is it? Doctor. 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 What is the next one? Aeromosa. Flight attendant, right? Flight attendant, Aeromosa. What about the next one? 
Question. A judge, right? Judge. judge. The next one, letter F. Lawyer. A lawyer, right? A lawyer. It's not a liar, okay? A lawyer. A, a liar, like Pinocchio, right? But lawyer, abogado. What about this one? Letter G. Musician. Musician, right? Musician. It comes from music. Musician. What about letter H? Nurse. It's a nurse. Another difficult profession right now with the pandemic. What about I? Pilot. 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 Ok, please don't tell me pilot. Ok. Yeah, eso fue un error muy común del español. Un pilot. Y pilots ah, le decían sí. a los marcadores y los marcadores no se llaman mar pilots. ¿no? <laughs> Son marcadores, plumones, right? The next one, you have? Police, Police officer. Police. Police officer. Another profession that I wouldn't like to have here in El Salvador. What about the next one? Receptionist. Receptionist, right? The letter L. Salesperson. Salesperson. A salesperson, it's a person who attends you in a shop and they go and they help you to buy things, right? That it's a salesperson. Una vendedora. What about the next one? Security guard. Security guard. Security guard, it's a person that is there on the door, right? Taking care of a business. A security guard. Letter N. Singer. Singer. A singer, right? A singer, it's the one that makes money just for singing. Letter O. Waiter. A waiter. A waiter is the one who attends you in a restaurant, right? Like the ones who brings you the food, but it's a man. And a waitress, it's a lady, right? And as you can see here on the example here, and I have a, a sample sentence here, and it says he is a receptionist, right? And we use the, um, the words a or and before the professions and the occupations. But for example, if we use an, in which cases would you use an? When, después de, cuando hay una vocal. Aha, uh -huh. when the profession starts with a vowel, right? For example, an electrician, because it, it starts with, with a vowel, right? But in this case, from all the examples that we have here, they go with a, right? Let's continue. On the next slide that I have here, and I am going to show you here, what is the profession of the people in the pictures? Number four and five, what are their professions? He's a? Pilot. pilot. He's a pilot and she's a? Flight attendant. Flight. A flight attendant. Pilot. She's a flight attendant. Flight attendant. Number six. Musician. Musician. He is a musician. Repeat with me. Musician. 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 Music. Musician. 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 Good. And number seven? Singer. A singer. A complete singer. sentence? She's, She's a, a singer. singer. She's a singer. Very good job. Number eight? She's a judge. She's a judge. She's a judge. Yeah. Right? A number judge. nine? She's a police officer. He is a police officer, right? He is a police officer. And number 10? He is a lawyer. Uh, a lawyer. He is a lawyer. Good, very good. A He's lawyer. a lawyer. Let's continue with the next one. I have here the next pictures. Number 11. He's, He's a, a chef. chef. He is a, a chef. Good. Our number food. 12? A waiter. He is a, he is a, waiter. Is a waiter. Good. And number 13? He is a waiter. He she is a waitress, right? She's a waitress. Number 14. Sales. Salesperson. He is a salesperson. Sales sales person. He is a salesperson. Number 15. She is a cashier. She is a cashier, right? Very good. And number 16. Officer work. Mm, 
she's a security security guard right she's a security guard right she's a security guard very good let's continue right remember that we need to give complete sentences you don't need to tell me cashier police officer cook chef Right, because we don't go through the world just speaking like that, right? No, no, vamos en el mundo diciendo sí solo eh, policía, cajero, chef, eh, guardaespaldas. No, right? Él es un guardaespaldas, él es una cajera, él es un chef, ellos son meseros, right? Complete sentences, okay? Complete sentences. Let's continue. Here, where do people work? Now that you mentioned the different professions, you mentioned the different occupations. And right now, it's the moment for you to tell me what type of people or what type of professions from the ones that we mentioned work in the different places that I have here. For example, here in a hospital, we have a doctor, a nurse. What other people uh, work in a hospital? A security guard. A security guard, very good. A security guard. What other type of professions do we have in a hospital? Think, 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 think. Las enfermeras amables, okay. Aquí solo de esas tenemos. Ajá. Las personas que hacen limpieza, ¿cómo se llama? Receptionist. Ah, the receptionist. Good. I have a receptionist. And I have your question, Yaritza. In this case, we have the, the janitor, right? The janitor is the person who cleans the places, right? The one mm -hmm. in charge of the cleaning, the janitor. What about it's in like, an office? Oh, ask the, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's like uh, ordenanza. Exactly like that. It is like that. Ordenanza. That's a janitor. Who works in an office? Secretary. Something. The secretary. Good. Who else? Accounting. The accountant. Who else? Assistant. A lawyer. The assistant. A lawyer. Right. All of them work in an office, right? We have all of them that they work in an office. In a store, what type of people work in a store? Salesperson. The salesperson. The cashier. A security guard. The security guard. Who else? A cashier. Uh -huh, we have the cashier. Who else? Manager. The manager, good, the manager of the store. What about in the hotel? What type of people work in a hotel? Receptionist. The receptionist. Security guard. Ah, security guard, también. okay, we have it. <laughs> we need a security guard everywhere. The security guard. Chef. The chef. chef, good. Janitor. The janitor. And la, the waiter. Las personas tamareras se dice en español. Housekeeper. Okay. Okay. In this case, we have the maid. The maid is a camarera or recamarera in this case. Right? The maid. That's that's the name of that one. The maid. I have a question. Tell me. What what's the meaning janitor? Janitor or the nonsa. Oh, es cierto. Yes, <laughs> you mentioned it. <laughs> okay, the waiter and the waitress and the maid. The maid are las mucamas, las que trabajan todo, okay? Las que trabajan todo el, el, el orden del, del hotel. Very good. Yes, any other question? Let me see. So from all the different people that we have here, tell me one profession that wears a uniform all day. The policeman. The policeman, very good. Tell me Sorry. one profession, one profession that sits all day. The fireman. A secretary. Okay. Uh, okay. The a person who sits all day. 
The secretary, the accountant. Soldiers. Mm, do they sit the whole day? Están sentados ah, todo el día? Sorry, sorry. Use. <laughs> well, but the soldiers is a good example for this one. It stands all day, right? A person who is standing the whole day, it's a soldier, a police officer. Well, in many of the cases, the teachers, the teachers, but now with the pandemic, it's different because now the teachers are sitting all day. And in the classroom, you the have cashiers, to be standing. Teacher. The cashiers also, they have to be standing the whole day. The salesperson. The salesperson, right? Tell me the name of a profession that handles money. Handles is que maneja. Handles money. Cashier. The cashier, right? Tell me a profession that talks to people. <laughs> I don't sure. The teacher, teacher, the assistant, the receptionist, the salesman, the salesman, right? The salesperson, the call center, the call center agents. They talk all day. Tell me a profession that works all night. Waiter, waiter. <laughs> no, no, those ones, no, okay. The security guard. The security guard, yes, okay. Don't tell me the other professions that work at night. <laughs> okay, no, those ones, no. Okay. Ah, waiter or waitress. DJ. Uh, A DJ, uh, yes. right? The waiter. DJ, the DJ works A all DJ. night. The girls. A singer. <laughs> the girls. Sing. Yeah, the girls. Sing. The girls at night. The Bartenders. <laughs> the bartenders, right? The bartenders. Well, it's a profession, but we're not going to mention it here. <laughs> chauffeur is profession. A, a chauffeur, driver. yes. A driver. Yes, it is a profession. It is a profession. A driver. I am not going to ask you to tell me professions that work hard because all the professions work hard. And How do uh-huh. How do you say al albañil? Albañil, that is um Mason. Mason. Agricultor. Mason. Agricultor, farmer. 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 I think some of them work harder than others. Tell me a profession that writes tickets. Write tickets. Here's a very famous profession in El Salvador. The police officers. It's like, oh, so yeah. Allá viene uno sin cinturón, mira. And you are in the middle of the traffic, like, the police, the police, trying to put it on. But no, no, no. Ticket for you. <laughs> right? And then it's like, beep, with the little speed machine. Ticket. Okay. It's like a multa? Ticket. Uh huh. Multa. Okay. Or in some of the cases, for example, in the supermarket, people do not write the ticket, but they charge the money, right? Pero que escribe las multas? Yes, the police officer. Okay. So, let's continue. These are the activities that people do in the different occupations or the different professions that they have. Here, here we have a little conversation. And it says, <clears throat> conversation uh, one, where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. And what does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Wow. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> it's like, I hate the manager. Hello. It's like, my brother is the manager. <laughs> uh, maybe he's the other manager, you say. <laughs> okay, kids, you are going to be Angela and I'm going to be Rachel, okay? Where does your brother work? Everybody. 
In a hotel. Ay, no, pero los oigo, ¿cómo que no han comido? Creo que no hemos comido, pero ya. Yeah. In a hotel. No. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a front desk agent. Oh, does, oh, does, does he, he like, like it? it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. The plaza. That's funny. funny. My, My brother, brother works there too. too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, Actually, he's the manager. manager. Ooh. Ah, no, but I, I, I don't like the other manager. <laughs> There's no problem with you. Okay, you are going to be Rachel and I am Angela. Go ahead. One, two, three. Where does your brother work? Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? Oh, really? My brother, My brother works, works in a hotel, too. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The Come Plaza. On. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Oops. <laughs> okay. Excellent job. Do you know all the meaning of all the words in this conversation? Do you have questions about uh, phrases in the conversation? Uh, that's agent. A front desk agent, right? Uh -huh. A front desk agent is the person who attends in the reception, right? It's similar uh -huh. to a receptionist. It's a front desk agent. It's the same of a receptionist. Any other question? When you mention how does he like it, it's like, y le gusta, le gusta mm -hmm. el trabajo, right? How does he like it? Because he says not very much, not very much. And um, when you say actually, he is the manager. It's like, the eh, en verdad, no, you don't say actualmente, right? Mm -hmm. Sí, en Actually, verdad, right? él, es el man, él es el gerente. Yes, Roberto? Actually, que no es he hecho. Yeah, you say. It's, it's another form, right? You say like, de hecho, he is the manager, right? But it is, it is not actualmente, okay? So for you not to get confused on this one. So this is basically what we have been focusing on today's class and it says the simple present wh questions questions like for example where do you work what do you do how do you like it and these were the questions that i was asking you the first question and i remember that i asked you like one week ago where do you work and many of you told me that you work in sport line right what do you do are you all sales uh, people or do you have different positions? Have different positions. Have different. different positions, right? Or in the case of Roberto, that he told me that he works in Fovial, right? Yeah. Okay. So what do you do exactly? Um, how do you say supervisor? I supervise, you say. I'm supervised the different uh, projects. Okay, I supervise the different projects. So in this case, you are the supervisor. Okay, you are the supervisor. Uh, do we have any manager here? Algun gerente? Uh -huh. In case, I'm worrying Calidad. Oh, you work okay you, you are a quality a quality uh, manager yes okay good very good do we have any let me see well we have a psychologist right 
in the case of let me see. Yes, I am a psychologist. Yes, we have a psychologist here. Doris, right? Do we have any Jenny, sir? Oh, Jenny, Jenny. Okay, good. We have a principal as well. Tenemos un director. Right? We have Mauricio as a principal. Yes, sir. He is the teacher. He is not the teacher. He is the principal, right? But he was the teacher before. And, and, and teacher too. Ah, you are a teacher too. So that's fantastic, right? So those are the different professions. And my question for everybody. Mauricio, how do you like your job? I really like it. I really like it, right? I really like it. I love it. Or I don't like it very much. Well, but as we have a job, I think we all really like it. And for third person, the form of third person, when you create questions, we have where does he work? What does he do? How does he like it? And for plurals, where do they work? What do they do? And how do they like it? Tell me, let me see. And I'm going to ask Jenny, where does your mother work? She works on a restaurant. She in works a restaurant. in a restaurant. She works in a restaurant. What does she do? She prepares different food. Okay, she's a chef in this case. She is the chef. Yeah. Yes, yes. Excellent. Let me see. I am going to go with Mr. Moises. What does your father do? Uh, my father. My father is a. Como, como se dicen las personas que, que siembran? A farmer. Yes, okay, he is a farmer. Good. Let me see. I am going to go with Mr. Jairo. What does your mother do? Mr. Jairo. Me lo llevo la lluvia. <laughs> Let's see, Mr. Marlon. What does your mother do? My mother is a, a teacher. Okay, and where does she work? She works in a school. Excellent, she works in a school here in San Salvador. Mm, no, in Aguachapan. In Aguachapan, okay, very good. Let me see. Yolanda, what does your mother do? Miss Yolanda, Miss Yolanda. Hello, hello. Okay, Walter, what does your mother do? Hello. Mr. Walter, Mr. Walter at once, Mr. Walter at twice. Se le solicita en la clase. Hello. <laughs> okay. So we're going to have, uh, let me see, the last question is going to be for Mauricio. What does your mother do? She's a housewife. A housewife, okay. Huh? She has the hardest job because the housewife's job, it's the most difficult of all of them. Okay. Alguien dice que lo sacó de la clase por la lluvia. Let's see. Teacher. Yes. I, I have a question. Question me, Roberto. Uh, housewife is, is a man de casa? Yes. Okay. Housewife. It's the lady who works at home. It is one of the most difficult jobs, let me tell you. Okay. 
El que diga que la que se queda en casa y trabaja en casa no hace nada, nunca se ha quedado en casa. <laughs> it's one of the most difficult jobs. Hello, hello, Abdiel. It's nice to see you in your house already. Hello. Teacher. Okay. Where does your mother work? Where does your mother work? Where does your mother work? Um, ¿Dónde trabaja tu mami? Um, my mother work in house. In the house. So she is a house. housewife. Good. Excellent. So, talking a little bit about pronunciation, right? In some cases, when we make questions, we have the reduction of do and does. For example, in this, when you say like, where do you work? Where do you work, right? You don't say like, where do you work, right? You say, where do you work? What do you do, right? You join the pronunciation for you to have a little bit more fluency at the moment of reading the sentences. In this case, for example, you say, where does he work, right? Where does he work, right? You join the two letters for you to create a fluent sound. What does she do, right? What does he do in this case? Where do they work? What do they do? When you read the questions, you improve your pronunciation for you to sound a little bit more fluent. Can you read the first question for me, please? What do you work? Where, Where do, you, do work? you work, right? Where do you work? The second one? What do, do you do? do? What do you do, right? The next one? Where does he work? Where does he work? Where where does he work? work? The next one? What, what, do he do? what does he do? What does he do, right? The next one? Where do they work? Where do they work? And the last one? What, what, do, what do they do? They do? do? What do they do? What do they do? Okay, good. Yeah, con la intensidad de los truenos puedo saber qué tan lejos de mi casa viven. <laughs> Because it's raining, it's raining very hard. Yeah, si de repente aquí truena y como a los tres segundos oigo que truena en su casa, no estamos muy lejos. <laughs> Where do you live? Where do I live? Here, uh, do you know in Framen? Um, at la casa. Yeah, I live, I live right there. No, I live in the Inframen. No, I, I live near, near Inframen, right? Okay. Yes. So, and it's raining really hard in here. So, for pronunciation, remember you can join the pronunciation for you to sound a little bit more fluent. We say like, where do you work? What do you do? Where does he work? What does he do? Where do they work? What do they do? So this is a matter of pronunciation. In this one, I am going to, okay. I am going to silent everybody for us to have the chance to actually listen to the class. Here, we are going to complete the conversations according to what we have been studying. What does your sister do? And it says, my sister, she's a nurse. And how are you going to complete this one? My sister, she's a nurse. I am going to help you. Uh, how does she like it? How does she like it, right? Le gusta, como es? It's difficult, but she loves it. What about the next question? What does your brother? What does your brother what? Work. What does Work. your brother? If you ask for a question about a profession, you say, what does your brother do? do. What no. does your brother, ah, oh, sorry, 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 no. In this no. case, sorry, sorry, sorry. You say, at the airport. 
We are looking for a place. Where? Where does? Where does Excellent. Your work? Excellent. Where does your brother work? Because work. we are looking for a place. And it says at the airport. He is a pilot. Oh. The same question that we have here. How, how, does, he like like it? how does he like it? He doesn't really like it, right? The next one. I guess they like them, it says. What are you going to write in number three? How do the parents like? What do you? I say, how do your parents like their jobs? Oh, I guess they like them. I don't remember in an office in the city. Where do uh -huh. they because you have a place at the end, right? You say, where, where do they work? In an office in the city. The next one. I am what a student. Do do? What do you do? Good. What do you do? I am a student. I see. Uh -huh. How do you? How do you like your classes? How do you like? Your classes, they are the, good. They are I good. like them a lot. a lot. Because even in the middle of the rain, teacher Nati continues <laughs> giving me the class, okay? Aunque se esté inundando, esa mujer me termina la clase, you see? <laughs> say, I, I have a question, teacher. Tell me. Job and word, eh, ¿cómo se usa? Okay. What is your job? In this case, you say like job is like trabajo. Mm -hmm. In work, it's like trabajo as well, but in, in another context, right? It's in the sentence. So like, what do you do at your work, for example? It's like, mm -hmm. well, I teach the classes, I receive students and everything. But if I say like, what is your job? I am a teacher. So, mm -hmm. Okay, so that is, that is the main difference. So I am going to go in this conversation with Yaritza. Yaritza, conversation number one. What does your sister do? My sister, she's a nurse. How does she like it? It's difficult, but she loves it. Good, very good. Yaritza, tell me another name for another student. Anna. Anna, okay. And Anna was about to turn off the camera. Anna, where does your brother work? <laughs> At the airport, he's a pilot. Oh, how does he like it? He does not really like it. He doesn't really like it, right? He doesn't really like it. The next one, who is the next student? Give me another name. Um, Moises Orellana. Moises. Gracias, Ana. <laughs> You're welcome. How do your parents like their jobs? Oh, I guess they like them. I don't remember. Where do they work? Uh, I am office in the city. In an office in the city. Give me another name. Um, where? Mauricio. Mauricio, Mauricio, what do you do? I am a student. Um, I see. How do you like your classes? They are good. I like them a lot. Excellent. Very good job. Thank you, volunteers. Thank you, volunteers. <laughs> Finger volunteers, because it was mandatory. <laughs> it was not optional. <laughs> good. So here. I am going to show you some 
adjectives that you can use for you to describe jobs. Adjectives that you can use at the moment of describing jobs. You can, you can have, for example, the first one, dangerous. Dangerous. <laughs> dangerous, right? Um, for example, a, can you give me names of jobs that you consider dangerous? A fireman. A fireman, good. Another one? A police officer. A police officer, good. What else? Security. A security a guard, a soldier, good. El electric, algo así mismo de los electricistas. An electrician, good. Bombero, como se dice? Fireman. Fireman. Fireman, and I'm going to write it on the chat. I'm going to send Worker. it to you on the chat. Which Worker. one? Worker of what? In building the streets or... Okay. Uh, okay, a builder. Good. Builder. All the ones that work in construction, right? A yeah. construction worker. A builder. A construction worker. All the ones who work in construction. Any other job that you consider dangerous? No. Um, what you want. A what? Bay what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. A lifeguard. A lifeguard. Okay. Lifeguard. Lifeguard. Right. A lifeguard. What about the job of? A secretary. Do you think it's dangerous? No. 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 Si, imagínense, se está contando las páginas y se corta con el papel y se desangra. No. <laughs> Mil no. maneras de morir. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's good. So those jobs are not really dangerous. What jobs do you consider interesting? A pilot. A pilot, a flight attendant. Good. What other job do you consider interesting? A doctor. A doctor. Well, and it's dangerous as well. Teacher. A teacher. It's cool. I really like my job. Because you are forced to continue learning every single day. A psychologist. Yeah, a psychologist. It's a very interesting job, right? And it Mechanic. is not, and it is not because of the chamber, right? The psychologist. Mechanic. The mechanic. Good. <laughs> the trainer. Good. Very good. Trainer. What jobs do you consider a stressful? Engineering. Engineering. An assistant. A salesman, accounting. Oh, yeah. What jobs agent in a call center? They call center agent. That it's a stressful, a stressful, a stressful. I have never been a call center agent, but I imagine that it's very stressful. What jobs do you consider well paid? What? Well paid. Colombia. Que pagan bien, bien pagado. A dentist. It's true. An engineer. Good. A doctor. A doctor. Congress. No sé cómo Which one? Um, the congressist. Congressist. <laughs> the congressist. The politicians, right? The politicians, the politicians that they only raise their hand and that's it, right? Okay. What jobs do you consider exciting? Pilot. A pilot. Good. A pilot. What jobs do you consider difficult? Doctor. A doctor. Yeah. Like, era la otra pierna, come on. <laughs> a, nor a nurse. A nurse, good. The nurse, the doctor. Well, I consider housewife. the housewife. Good, you took my, my, my words. The housewife. Or the nanny, right? The nannies. That's a very difficult job. Another difficult job, it's like the, the farmers. Because it's very hard. 
What jobs do you consider challenging? Retadores. What jobs do you consider challenging? People who take care the police of officer. the animals. <laughs> People who take care of the animals, right? The zookeepers. In a zoo. Yeah, the zookeepers. I am going to send that on the chat. That's a zookeeper. Okay, yeah. Those, those uh, jobs are challenging. What jobs do you consider rewarding? Sorry, teacher. Yes? So, keeper is the name of the word uh, of that uh, person that uh, take care of them. Yeah, it's a person who takes care of the animals in the zoo. Okay. Right? It's a zoo keeper, yes. Teacher. Yes? ¿Qué significa? Rewarding. Rewarding. Okay. For example, I consider my job rewarding because... I am teaching people who want to learn to have a better future. Okay? Yo más allá de sentirme que les doy una clase, siento que para mí es muy eh, más allá de beneficioso porque es un trabajo, es algo que a mí me llena como persona. ¿Por qué? Porque ah, tiene un significado. Es exactly, exactly like that. Okay? Rewarding es aquel trabajo en el que más allá de que tú recibas, eh, más, que, más allá de algo que tú das tú lo disfrutas porque sientes que hay un significado para eso por ejemplo los que trabajan ayudando a los pobres, los que trabajan ayudando gente en la calle los que trabajan en, en cosas sociales so that is really rewarding and, I, and that's why I really like my job because you are here because you want to learn okay? y les digo, siempre me dicen pero quién va a querer estar en clase a las 8 a las 9 de la noche Alguien que quiere salir adelante, alguien que quiere aprender. Okay? Y esos son los mejores estudiantes. So that's why I love this class. It's pretty awesome. Demanding. Yeah. A job that you consider demanding. A manager or a principal or the boss. El que le toca ser gerente o el que le toca ser director. That's a demanding job. Because they say, uh, imagine, they say, Ana Beatriz, the reports, Ana Beatriz, los papeles, Ana Beatriz, the things, the things, the things, and everything. And, and you have to be ready with everything. And it's like, ah, no. Imagine in the case of, yes. That is. Demand uh -huh. Sorry. Demanding is, is like a boss, and like you say, but it is not a... For example, the career that the small, more common or common? More common. Yeah. No, but in this case, demanding as an adjective is demandante, pero que te exige demasiado. Okay. okay. That is the form of the word. Okay. Todos okay. los que tienen jefes <laughs> saben que es algo demandante. <laughs> The My boss. <laughs> yes, I imagine. What is a lonely job? Un trabajo bien solitario. What is a lonely job? Accounting. An accountant. Accounting. You are alone with you and the numbers, right? A repetitive. <laughs> yeah. So that is a very lonely job. The security, the security work. The security guard too, but he talks chauffeur. with people. The chauffeur, right? The driver. But now in El Salvador, it's like, y tiene mucho de andar en esto. Ah, and then you start the conversation. <laughs> 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 what about, a, well, a mechanical job is the one that you do the same process all the time, right? That's a mechanical job. Catcher. A cashier, right? Beep, beep, beep. Trae bolsa. No, ah, pues así se lo va a llevar en Aman. <laughs> that's, that's a mechanical job, right? Important. All the jobs are important. All the jobs. Practical. Practical jobs are the ones that you know what to do and how to do it, right? It's like ta 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 ta. 
and it's very easy to follow. Convenient. If you live very close to your job, that's convenient. El que le queda cerquita de la casa, that's convenient. And fantastic, all the jobs. If you work on something that you like, that's a fantastic job. You are not working, you are enjoying, right? I really like my job, so I think that I don't work. I just enjoy every single day. So those are adjectives that you can use to describe the jobs. And as the sentences that I was mentioning, I can say, a doctor has a dangerous job or a doctor's job is dangerous, right? You can use it in the two forms. And this is the last Being thing that I am going to... No, no. Okay, I am going to share this one as the last thing of the class. And it says, you have two forms. A firefighter's job is dangerous or a firefighter has a dangerous job. Okay, or you can say, a doctor's job is a stressful or a doctor has a stressful sure. job. Okay, so you have the two things. You can have the verb to be and the adjective, the verb to be and the adjective, or you can have no. the noun, right? A firefighter has a dangerous job, right? You can have the adjective first and then the noun, okay? So this is something that we are going to go in deep a little bit tomorrow, okay? And we are going to do the midterm exams as well. That is going to be in tomorrow's class. Yes, Doris, tell me. Una pregunta. Eh, Dígame. Ese material yo lo busqué en la plataforma, pero no lo encuentro. Which one? Eh, todo lo que estamos viendo. O no hay un material así como algo, ah, folleto, o algo. No. Ok, todo, no. Lo que, todo lo que ustedes ven en clase es algo que yo les, yo les armo para las diferentes clases. Y ahí les voy explicando de acuerdo a los temas que vamos viendo en la plataforma. Pero muchos de estos detalles están en la plataforma, en los videos y en las explicaciones que están ahí, ahí lo pueden encontrar. Es la misma secuencia que yo les llevo, solo que yo me voy un poquito más a fondo en cada uno de los temas. Ajá. Es que estaba viendo, ahora por ejemplo, estaba haciendo los ejercicios que, que van de cada clase, y estaba, y, y están esos, esos que está explicando ahorita. Ajá. Están ahí. Yes. Hay algunos que están ahí y otros que cuando yo quiero que ustedes practiquen más, que ya vengo yo y les pongo otras cositas ahí extras. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So we are going to work on this one tomorrow. Okay. So keep an eye on this one. Try to advance in section three and complete the exams because we are going to cover that tomorrow. Okay, my dear students, I have to stop right here and I am going to see you tomorrow to finish with this topic and with another class. Have a beautiful night and rest a lot. Bye-bye, my dear students.